$600 million. This is something I've been watching very, very closely, and I think we all should be too. Okay, this is something that can signify what will happen with the price of Shiba Inu moving forward. What I'm talking about is whales. Whales have huge, huge, huge influence on the market, and sometimes people forget that. And that can signify whether the price is going to go up or whether the price is going to go down. But recently here, whales have been in huge accumulation mode. Now, if you haven't been paying attention, right, the $600 million is now the amount that the top 100 Ethereum whales now own. Okay. They've cracked over a hundred over, excuse me, $600 million again, sitting at $603 million right now. And in fact, they've increased the percentage of their holdings too. I think when I looked at this yesterday, it was 15.7%. Now it's up to 16.2. These whales are accumulating Shiba Inu. And that can be, you know, you can check it by the data. You can see it. I even made a video yesterday because I saw something talking about, you know, whales are abandoning, abandoning Shiba Inu. And that's just simply not the case. Whales have extreme interest in Shiba Inu right now which is why they continue to add to their holdings. That's why this number is going up, not going down. Now, the price of Shiba Inu has been kind of going sideways right now. I'm okay with this. I think we all are. Yeah, we had a little bit of a dip, you know, back on the 25th, but it's been working its way back up from there. Now, this, this 4012, okay, is a level that Shiba Inu's really struggled with. It's been a strong level of resistance. If you remember when it was above it, it was a strong level of support. This is kind of that that roadblock that that a lot of Shiba Inu holders have in their mind. That's the reason why we have an extended pass there. But keep in mind, there are some things coming up that could really help extend this run upwards. Now, what I'm talking about, obviously, is the launch of Shibarium. Okay, we know that Shibarium is going to have some sort of upward movement. It's, it's something that the community has waited for for a long time. The whole crypto community seems to be paying attention to it or at least somewhat know about it. So I would suspect that with this launch, the price will go up. But the more immediate thing that is coming up is the FOMC meeting. Okay, that is actually only now four days away. February 1st, they will be announcing the next round of interest rate hikes. And whether you like it or not, it will have an impact on the broader crypto market. Okay, and by direct correlation, she being you, she being you moves along with the market. And this could be a good good thing or a bad thing. Obviously, January has been a great month for crypto. It's why Shiba Inu has performed as well as it has. It's why the whole market has performed as well as it has. But if we get some negative news, could we see some downside? Sure. I think right now the Fed is probably going to stick to these lower interest rate hikes. You know, I had originally thought we were going to see a 50 basis point hike. I'm thinking more like 25 now. Sounds like that's what everybody else is thinking too. You know, the sentiment around the, the broader economy seems to be getting better. So they may be less inclined to have a larger hike or they might just rip off the mandate. Okay, they've they've done that a couple times. Obviously, we know they had four straight 75 basis point hikes. They had a 50 basis point hike. So it'd be tough to see them raise it that substantially again, but you never know what they're going to do. The most important thing will be the sentiment following that, whether they say, hey, we really need to continue to tackle these, these inflation numbers or whether they come out and say, hey, we're good with what we're doing. We're going to do you know one more interest rate hike and then we're going to kind of chill. That'd be the best thing that, that we could possibly hear. I think the markets would really run then. But as always, this is not financial advice. Definitely do your own research, but pay attention to what the whales are doing. If you guys want to check that out, it's whalestats.com. You can actually see the top 100 Ethereum whales. You can check out their wallets, look at what they're doing, what kind of trades they're making. You can see all the history. It's a very cool thing. You can extrapolate it further and check out the top, you know, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 uh, whales. Um, I don't pay for it, so I don't <laughs> I don't have access to that. But appreciate you guys as always. Uh, make sure you guys show your love below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little like. Show me you guys are enjoying the content that I'm making. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I really hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.